So, once again, the sleuths at Pohl have connected some dots that completely obliterate an official story. In this case, it is the Vegas shooting and all that compiles within it. As has been announced by a number of reliable sources, users on Pohl have discovered flight records and a plane that belonged to the Las Vegas shooter, Stephen Paddock. It is connected to an intelligence contractor whose owner previously worked for the Obama administration. Thanks to Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, ISIS agents are now operating within the United States buying weapons, probably to use in terror attacks on American soil. The latest theory is that the alleged shooter, Stephen Paddock, was FBI undercover. And if in fact he was some government spook, selling weapons to ISIS and or Antifa, it would explain why the FBI have been not forthcoming with a number of pieces of important evidence. One story that is floating about on Paul right now is that Stephen Paddock was an undercover FBI agent who participated in multiple illegal arms deals in the Las Vegas area in a gun-running entrapment scheme. Paddock thought he was engaging in another routine arms transfer, but ISIS had learned about the entrapment scheme and Paddock's true identity. They killed him and carried out the massacre and then either fled the scene or their bodies were removed by the FBI prior to the story. This story makes sense when you consider the fact that ISIS almost immediately claimed responsibility for the attack. A number of message boards on Pol also included Antifa contacts in the local area that may have also had a relationship with Stephen Paddock. These possible outcomes within the evolving storyline of this event only reaffirm what many of us in the research underworld have claimed for several years now, that ghost branches inside the U.S. government's deep state are quickly arming terrorist cells by filling suburban basements with millions of guns. Some of these fifth columns are posing as ISIS, but many more have become affiliated with Antifa in preparation for an urban-rural domestic battle being manufactured by the political elite. The army will be manned by punks, leftist agenteurs, political spooks, and hordes of Antifa youth who will enter the fray at some tipping point in the looming future. And their targets will be anything that looks like those normal, traditional heritage Americans massacred in Las Vegas this week. So don't pass off this latest event as some random sad affair. Expect it and its target victims to become the new normal.